Hello everyone, this is Dr. Zaidi. Welcome to my YouTube channel, ZooTube. This is an accounting channel. And today we are going to discuss job order costing and process costing and their differences. So what is a job costing system? Well, as you see, in a job order costing system, costs are accumulated for each job order. Each job order has a separate record for the cost of each quantity of product that passes through the factory. What does that mean? That means each job is unique. For example, building a house is a unique job. So you record all the costs in a job cost sheet in a job order costing system. However, in a process costing systems, you accumulate costs to each department or process, right? So the costs are accumulated not for the products, but the costs are accumulated for each department and for each process within the factory. And then the costs are assigned to the cost object, which is the project, the product. Okay, so here are some differences between job costing and process costing system. So why do you use job order costing system? You use job order costing system when you, your products are heterogeneous. That means you are producing products that are not similar in nature, that are not identical. So for example, building a house, each house is different from the other. Um, building bridges, building schools, building hospitals. So these are, each hospital are different from the other. Each house is different from the other. Each bridge is different from the other. They require different uh, number of hours to complete, different amount of manufacturing overhead and different uh, materials, okay? So these products are known as heterogeneous product. So whenever our products are heterogeneous, we use job order costing system and we use job cost sheet to record the production cost, okay? On the other hand, in a process costing system, the products are homogeneous in nature. What does it mean? It means they are identical in nature. They are produced in a continuous basis. So what products are identical? So for example, a gallon of water is same as the other gallon of water if you're producing water bottles, right? A gallon of gasoline is same as the other gallon of gasoline. If it's the same octane, 87 octane, or just 89 octane, or just 91 octane, okay? Similarly, each A4 size page is same as the other A4 size page, right? If you're producing a lot of pencils or pen, then each pen is same as the other, and each pencil is same as the other. So that's known as homogeneous production where the items are produced in a continuous basis. So we use a process costing system for those kind of products. Okay, back to the job order costing system. So job order costing system is used for production of a large, unique high cost items. What are large items? Large items, just like, as I said, building bridges, hospitals, uh, building freeways, building ships, right? And these items are unique. You know, they, no two items are similar to each other or the same, you know? So for example, if you, even if you go with a builder and you're building a house, you know, and they are building two identical, two, two identical houses, one buyer may want to have a carpet, the other buyer may want to have a tile floor, maybe a wooden floor, right? Similarly, on the other things, one buyer may want, you know, their house to be painted uh, beige. The other one wants just a white paint, right? So that makes these two products different and unique. And these are large items and these are high cost items, all right? On the other hand, in a process costing system, uh, the products are usually small. They are identical and they're low cost items. So whether you take it any beverage, you take water bottles, you take um, gasoline, you take pencils, pen, you take paper, those are usually small, identical, and low-cost items that are usually produced at, on continuous basis. 
So we use process costing system for that. And instead of assigning uh, cost to a particular product, we assign, we trace cost to a department and uh, a process. In a job order costing system, the orders are built to made. They are not massively produced. So if you are building a house through a builder, you're going to place the order that you want this lot and you want certain features in your houses, right? If you are building, a, uh, building a, an airport, if you are building um, a hospital, again, they're built to order. They're not massively produced. You're not gonna build like 10,000 hospitals in a row they are, that are identical, okay? However, in a process costing system, the items are massively produced. They are produced in a continuous basis, you know? So for example, if you produce A4 size paper, you're not gonna produce just one paper and then stop and then produce a legal size paper, one paper and then stop. No, you will produce probably hundreds of thousands of paper, if not millions, right? Similarly, if you're producing pencils, you're gonna produce hundreds of thousands of pencils. If you're producing um, uh, beverages, you're gonna produce hundreds of thousands of beverages. So instead of producing one item at a time, you produce items in a continuous basis, right? In batches. In a job order costing system, many costs can be directly traced to a particular job. So for example, if you're building a house, you can pretty much trace direct labor directly to the house that how many hours a person um, is spent on building a house, how many hours a carpenter spent, how many hours a person who is uh, laying the concrete floor is spent, it, right? You can also trace materials directly, you know, how much wood you have used, how much concrete you have used, and some other items that you are using, whether it's a sink or toilet bowls, you can directly trace to a particular job. Similarly, manufacturing overhead can also be traced to a particular job. Whereas in a process costing system, you can trace cost to a particular unit or it will be extremely costly to trace you know, a cost to a particular unit or it's not gonna be a cost effective to trace. You know? So therefore you trace cost to process, you trace cost to a department, and then you assign cost to the cost object, right? So instead of tracing a cost directly to a unit of a product, you trace a cost to the department, and then assign a cost to a product. So if it's going through a, a you know, a manufacturing facility, and then assembly line, um, then quality control, you assign cost to the manufacturing department, and then the quality control department, and then the uh, you know assembly department, sorry, and then the quality control in an order, right? And then depending on how many units you transferred from manufacturing to assembly, you will you will allocate those costs to those number of units that you have produced at any given point in time. And similarly, how many units you transferred from the assembly to quality control, you know, you allocate those costs that you have incurred in the assembly department to the units that are transferred to another department, right? So in a process costing system, the cost cannot be directly traced to each unit of product. All right, so the next is the hybrid costing system, which is also known as operation costing system. So what is that? This is a combination of bo both job order costing and a process costing system. When you combine these two together, it's known as an operation or hybrid costing system. So how can you combine these two together? So take an example of an A4 size paper and a legal size paper, right? Once you are, um, once a customer order 100,000 of, let's say, legal size papers, you're gonna produce 100,000 legal size papers, and then you have another order pending for 200,000 A4 size papers. Now you need to change a setup to produce A4 size paper. So you are producing one batch of 100,000 papers and the other batch of 200,000 papers after changing the setup. So that one batch, each individual item in a batch that's produced 100,000 legal size paper goes through process costing system, each paper, right? But 
between legal size paper and A4, they are two different batches. So these are two different jobs. You're producing 100,000 legal size paper, 200,000 A4 size paper, completely two different jobs. Within each job, you're using process costing system, right? Similarly, if you produce a gasoline, you need, you know, um, million gallons of 87 octane, you need 2 million gallons of um, 91 octane. So 87 and 91 octane, two different. But each gallon which within 87 octane is similar to another gallon in 87 octane. So they use process costing. But a batch of 1 million gallon of 87 octane is different from a batch of 2 million gallon of 91 octane. Therefore, they use job order costing in that. So you can use job order and hybrid costing system uh, together, which is known as hybrid costing system. Now, this is for manufacturing facilities. Our merchandising and service industries also use job order and process costing system. So uh, the, because manufacturing is the most complicated process, we usually discuss manufacturing operations, but in a, a, in an, uh, in a service industry such as a law firm, you know, such as uh, the hospitals, they also use job order costing system. So if you are, if you are going to file a, a, you know, tax return, if you plan to file a tax return, each tax return is different from the other and your CPA or anyone who is uh, um, working on filing your tax return is going to charge you based on the complexity of your tax return. Right. If you have a property, if you have investment, if you have a stocks, if you have and the other person doesn't have anything, just plain income, then they will be charged based on the complexity of their tax return. Similarly, the doctors, they also charge based on the complexity of your situation. If you are going through a surgery, you may be charged more than if you are just going through you're going for a regular checkup. So each each job is different from the other. So these um, you know, service industry also use job order costing system. Okay, thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe my channel for live updates and more videos. Thank you.